The primary goal for this lab is to let you practice IP configuration on a switch, but it has a strong secondary goal for you to review how basic password configuration works on a switch as well. Let me set up the lab and then you can get into it. This video describes one of the config labs at my blog. Here's the direct link. The title is Switch IP Config. Now, you can do these labs without using this video or the review video, and here's how it works. You go to that link, it opens up a web page. The top half of the web page is the scenario and tasks to do for the lab. Then in the middle, very briefly, it says, go do the lab. You can do the lab on paper. You can do it in Cisco Packet Tracer. You can do it in CML in this case. Then the bottom half of the page is the answer and an explanation as to why I think that answer meets the goals of the lab. So use the blog page and use it alone if you want, but to give you a deeper look at things, you can use the lab review video or you can use this lab intro video or both. So this lab intro video just works through this top half of the page and its contents in a little more depth, all right? So what are we going to do here in this video? I'll talk about the initial config. I'll talk through the lab instructions and then tell you, go do the lab. Let's do it. First off, the lab shows you a typology. Here it is. You see the interface IDs. You see a router and two switches. Your goal is to configure the IP settings on SW1 and SW2. So what do we know about SW1? Well, the initial config shows all relevant pre-configured data. And so on the interfaces, it just shows description commands. Now that's important because of what's missing. There's no assignment of VLANs, and that gives you a clue as to what VLAN interface number to use in your IP configuration. The rest of the config has to do with basic password settings, and that's the secondary goal of the lab, where you review those settings and use them when testing, and you've got to figure out what password to use to get into user mode and to privilege mode and that kind of thing. So review that. So that's all on switch SW1, and it's different passwords on SW2. So on SW2, again, there are no VLAN configuration settings on the interfaces. It's all description commands, so no pre-configuration of VLANs. That's a clue. And then the passwords are set to different values in here in some cases, so review that for the secondary purpose of the lab. So your goal is to figure out what to configure for the VLAN interface numbers and the IP addresses and default gateway and the like. So it's important to think about the router configuration. Well, there it is. There's the router IP address. That'll be what you use for your default router settings on the two switches. But if you're following this course in sequence, you won't learn, won't have learned yet how to do the math to figure out what addresses to use for the switches. So the lab tells you what addresses to use. So in this case, with this IP address and mask, if you knew the math by this point, you would know, hey, well, the subnet ID is that, and the range of usable addresses is that. But the lab just tells you, hey, from this range, use the address that ends in dot .30 for the router, and dot .29 for switch 1, and dot .28 for switch 2. So what should you do? Configure IP on the two switches. More specifically, do some analysis. Pick your VLAN interface number, your SVI number that you need to configure based on that initial configuration. Do some more analysis that I've already talked you through, but do some analysis and think about what parameters should you configure? What IP address should you configure? What subnet mask? What default router should you use? And then go configure the commands. Now, that might seem like an obvious thing, but it's a lot easier to watch me configure something in a video than it is for you to go do it. So think through the syntax, get the commands down, do the question mark, configure things. But don't configure any DNS settings, DNS resolver settings, because the lab does not ask for any. And don't change any of the password settings. Part of the goal of the lab is, is once you configure the IP settings, you'll test those. And part of the testing is for you to figure out the existing passwords and use those when testing. All right, let's talk about testing for a moment. There are six PCs three on each switch on these ports. So you can go to those PCs like PC1 and ping the switch IP addresses. Those should work if you've configured them correctly. You can use the telnet command from those PCs like this command telnet followed by the address or the SSH command. By the way, this syntax, SSH minus L, Fred. The switches are pre-configured with a username of Fred with a password of Barney. So that's just saying my login name is Fred. So that would let you log in with SSH to the switch. 
move to privilege mode each time and test the privilege mode or enable mode password. And you can also test the default gateway setting as I'll talk about next. So this next test is a little bit advanced compared to where we are in the course. So if you want to skip this, don't worry about it. It's mentioned in the written lab on the web page, but here's the idea. There's this idea of a loopback interface on a router that adds an internal interface to a router that can be used for testing. So if we created these two config commands in router R1, we could use it for testing in this case. So once created, we could go back to switch one and switch two, both of them. And we could ping the default router address, which is the address on this physical interface on the left side of R1. And that should work regardless of whether you got the default gateway setting correct. But then you could ping this loopback address that ends in dot 60, and that should only work if you got the IP default gateway configuration correct. So it's a test of your default gateway setting. In fact, you could continue that kind of test by going to one or both switches like I show switch two here and removing your IP default gateway command from the configuration, breaking it, and then repeating a ping to this loopback address. And it should fail now because you broke the default gateway configuration that you had added. So it's a way to test that. Now, if you're thinking, I like the idea, but that's a little confusing, hey, I demo that in the review video so you can check that out. All right, we're almost there. In the meantime, review the initial config. Make a few quick notes on a piece of paper about what the console password is on each device, the VTY passwords, the username and password Fred and Barney, and the enable password on each device just to have it for handy reference for testing. So it's time to do lab. There's a direct link to the page. Go to it. Have fun in lab. So for this one on the left, if you click, you'll get to the video that describes how to do all the things in this lab. And if you click on the right, you'll go to the lab review video that shows how to do the lab. But try the lab first before checking out the lab review video. Hey, thanks for hanging out. I'll talk to you soon.